my dears, so we've got another nib review coming up today, and this is with a goodie I picked up at Kino Cunia in San Jose, California. Keep watching. So we've got this wonderful package of SL comic pen. These are actually Nico drawing nibs, and it was 10 bucks for five nibs. So it was about $2 a nib plus tax. And I had to go all the way to beautiful California to get these. And these have not even been opened yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And I picked up the drawing pin set. And it looks like we've got two different types of spoons. Possibly a school and a G. And then a mapping nib. And I've got some alcohol wipes to prep these for first use. And they are not labeled so that's gonna be up to us and our reading ability and quite possibly the internet to determine what is what and when you're removing these from the packaging be careful because they're very sharp and you will stabity stab yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and use an alcohol wipe to just quickly wipe off the factory oils you can burn the oils off. You can also use dish soap to remove them. These oils are put on to keep these from rusting while they wait for you, especially if you live in high humidity areas. You can also soak these in rubbing alcohol if you want, but I think I find that to be a bit excessive. Although with the crows sometimes, that is a good idea. So I'm gonna zoom -dee zoom you guys in so you can get a nice look at these drawing pointed pen nibs. So we've got the Nico pen, Nico made in Japan. And then on it, it says number 357. And I'm actually gonna write these down because my eyesight is abysmal. Uh, Nico Pen, Nico made in Japan. And then we've got, and I know my camera is having trouble focusing just like my eyeballs, number 555. And I'll zoom out with the whole picture in a minute. Then we've got Nico, and this is the G. Then we've got Nico Pen, Nico, and what do you say? Number five. I think this is my first time with a set of Nico nibs. And then we've got the tiniest one that I'm going to have a lot of trouble reading. Let me ditch this cat. Nico 8863 eight, or 8. No, wow. Holy smokes. 8. Six nine, it looks like, and it is a rolly one. All right, let us grab lettuce, like the leafy green lettuce. Grab our nib holders, and I would hope a tachikawa holder or a kuratake holder would work with these. And grab those both first. And we're going to do our testing with Daler FW Acrylic Ink, which is what I've been using for our other tests. And I'm going to try to work around these nibs. 
So we're gonna start with one of the two spoons, the number 357. Fine, some amount of flex, doesn't nip too much into the paper, which is nice, because this Denik paper is not super nice to ink on. And I'll do a little doodle of the nib for my own reference, because otherwise I will forget. Anyway, this is a good one. Definitely worth experimenting with later. And I am going to clean all these nibs off at the same time. I'm using acrylic ink. Nice thing about acrylic ink is that rubbing alcohol will remove it. Let's go now to the 555. And I just realized I wasn't pulled in enough for you guys. Fear not, I will probably do individualized reviews with these. This reminds me of the Tachikawa jib I, G nib I have. This is finer than the last spoon. I'm gonna see the breather holes so I can sketch them. And this one, the sides go in a little bit and there's, that is not a very accurate depiction, but there's one breather hole and it's actually smaller than the first spoon. And it holds a decent amount of ink due to the shape. Next, we've got the Nico G. It doesn't really want to go too far in. Ooh, that is user error on my part. That is a terrible drawing of a GNIB, guys. I apologize. I'm gonna lose all of my, no I'm not, there's nobody who's gonna come take my artist card. Even if people say things, they still can't take your artist card. And I shouldn't even joke that that could happen. Okay, so I really like GNIMS because they are very, very flexible, but you can be a little heavier handed and still work. This one's a little nippy into the paper after the two spoon nibs that didn't really have any problems. This one wants, this one's got a little bite. It's also not as fine as the two spoons. Okay, two to go. We've got the numero five. Let me move things over. And this one is a lot. Oh, wow, that's pretty fine. Wow. That's okay. If it allows me to tell which one's which, it doesn't actually matter if it's that good a likeness. This one has very little flex. It's like a very firm drawing pen. And there is some, and it's also very nippy. but you can get some really fine lines with it. And then last to final lootly, we've got the 869, the crow coil. Let's see if it'll fit in our new, well, maybe if we jam it. I hate doing that because then I have a lot of trouble getting it out. I've got some other holders, however. We'll see if one of these two is a better fit. This is a Tachikawa Crow Quill. It's less likely to get stuck on this.
Ooh, wow. That's like a very, very fine. It's almost like with fountain pens. So with fountain pens, Japanese fountain pens, they're, they're all one size smaller than the European uh, equivalent. So a Japanese fine is much finer than a Western fine, etc. And it seems like their Croquil nibs are in the same vein. But nice, really nice for fine hatching. Holds a decent amount of ink. All right, so that was a very quick overview of the Nico 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 uh, drawing nibs that I picked up from Kino Cunha in San Jose, California. You can probably I have not checked. Uh, you can probably get these nibs in the Deleter store, and I will try to locate. Oh, really? It doesn't want to come off the holder now. Ugh, gross. I really need to get a nib grip because that would be super helpful. And I know Goulet sells them. And if I'm going to be using dip pens, this is a thing I need. You can also use um, a rubber band to help you pull stubborn nibs off. I don't have any handy. Oh, wait, maybe I can scavenge one. Wait, I can demonstrate. So, rubber band, a rubber band. And it just adds a little extra friction. Let's see if this. Ha ha! Yep. I do, I mean, considering what a hot mess this looks like, I do need to get a nib grip. All right, so clean these little puppies. We're gonna use a handy little medical wipe. These things, especially if you do like reviews and tests, that sort of stuff, these things make cleaning stuff up really handy. Although I also keep rubbing alcohol in a pump bottle, little, little handy thing. And I use it way more than I thought I would. And having kind of a drawing station. I know I complain about the size of my desk all the time. It is too small considering it has, houses my supplies, my computer, and it serves as a recording station. It's too small. Um, but it's really nice to have like a drawing station where I can keep my tools out because that way I actually use them. And one of those, I have to see it and then I remember. So I'm going to put my clean nibs back in their set rather than add them to my nib candy box. And hopefully that'll help me remember to review them. And please remember, if you enjoy these nib review videos, if you find them helpful, if you find them useful, even if it's like six years down the line, uh, even if I have died, <laughs> and and you feel like there's no point in saying anything please let me or the ghost of me or the legacy of me know or just me in general know that you enjoy these videos that you find them helpful that you find them useful um and tell some friends about it one of the killer things about doing drawing tutorials for actual for artists and art people who enjoy art is that nobody wants to talk about who taught them how to do what and where they learned it. Nobody wants to share that with other artists. I don't know if it's shame because I don't feel that I I am happy to share. In fact, when I do my blog posts, I link where I get my information from. So I don't understand. We were taught in school to credit your sources, but um, maybe there's shame. Maybe there's fear that someone's going to call you a hack because someone else had to teach you or you learn from another source. Um, I don't really know what it is. Maybe some people want to just pretend that they came fully formed from the head of Zeus. But we all learn from somewhere. And you talking about things you've learned on my channel and linking it. And not just like, I mean, it's sweet when people DM me and they're like, thank you so much for teaching me. But it helps me when you say, 
Becca Hilburn at Natto Soup showed me how to do X, Y, and Z on her YouTube channel link. That is super duper duper helpful to me. Um, it makes me feel great. And like, for real, it makes me feel like I've done something that legitimately helps other people instead of I'm everybody's dirty little secret girlfriend. Um, and it inspires me to do more videos and it makes me want to do more things to help you guys. And it also loosens my pocket. So I'm more willing to buy supplies like this to review for you guys. Of course, joining my Patreon is a phenomenal way to show support and help, but, but just doing a signal boost on your Twitter, on your Tumblr, on your Instagram is for freezies. And it helps me out so much and it helps other artists find things that can help them too. You don't have to know how to do know how to do things right off the bat. It's okay to look it up and it's okay to make mistakes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hopeful it hopeful. I hope it was helpful and useful to you guys. I hope it was inspiring. If you are interested in this set, I hopefully will have a link to it in the description below. But sometimes deleter nibs are not sold in the US the way they are in Japan. In fact, often deleter and eco nibs are not sold in the US the way they are in Japan. So um, I will do my best. If I can't find the set, I will do my best to recreate it so you guys can get your own if you are so interested. I really, really enjoy using Japanese nibs. They are my favorites, but I do know they can be hard for people to get. So I, if you are from a country where you can't use the links I use and you have alternate links, please feel free to put those in the comments. I'm down if it's like your affiliate link, that's cool too. Um, and that will help people in other countries find the supplies they're looking for. I don't ever want to just be a tease and show off stuff that you just absolutely can't get. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you look forward to the individual nib reviews and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.